This is Danner. He's here. Sam Williams, KPOV News. Could we have a quick word before you give your final statement? Uh, not now, Sam. After the broadcast. Yeah. Okay, boys and girls, let's let the man breathe, please. Thank you. It is time for the people of this country to take back the power from the corporate polluters and their corrupt friends in government. We have been betrayed, ladies and gentlemen. Betrayed by the people entrusted by us to guard and protect our laws. Betrayed by men who maintain their power by maintaining secrets. Who will stop at nothing, including murder, to keep these secrets from the people. Betrayed by men who are responsible for acts and crimes far more heinous than the destruction of our old growth forests. Now, I'm not at liberty be more specific about the names and positions of those I'm referring to. However, I will say this. If I'm elected, my first official act as president will be to initiate a full-scale congressional investigation into these abuses of power in order to expose a conspiracy so vast that it threatens to destroy the very fabric of our democracy. By working together, we can once again restore the sacred trust between the government and the government. Thank you. phone with Bryant. The senator finished his speech about two minutes ago. When you see the ambulance arrive, call your contact. Let him tell you when you can bail. Okay. on the atrium. What are you talking about? I can see him. He's with Bryant. Over here. Jesus. I thought, I thought Bryant was supposed to keep him off there. Yeah, he was. Then what the hell's going on, Neil? That son of a bitch, he set us up. Find some more. Find some more. <laughs> Donovan. Shots have been fired. Kate's down. Shots have been fired. Where from? Who did it? Jason. Kate's down. Shots have been fired from the floor above me. Son of a bitch. Jason. Jason, someone set us up. Get the hell out of there.
I know nothing about no senator. Four Secret Service agents saw you in the window with the murder weapon. How do you explain that? They were hallucinating. I don't know. Someone slipped acid in their lattes. How would I know? Found this in your car at a hotel. 6.30 a.m. Caton jogs two miles. Total elapsed time, 12 minutes, 43 seconds. 8.30 a.m. Caton leaves home, drives to a meeting at O'Shea's restaurant. 10.30 a.m. Caton leaves restaurant, arrives at work at 10.45 a.m. This is your handwriting. You have entries covering Caton's movements for the last three months. Now, unless I'm hallucinating, you are a stalker. I don't know what you're talking I didn't do that. You like photography, Jason? Huh? Looks to me like you're a real shutterbug, huh? What do we got here? Uh, Caton coming out of his house, going to work, leaving work. What's that? Nothing. Mike, FBI. You really think this peep job's a terrorist? I don't know. What did he say to you? He denies everything. Anything else? Besides telling me to perform an unnatural act on myself? No. Good night. Good night, I guess. Jesus Christ, Jason. The bastards really worked you over. Bryant. Played us all the way. Well, he got his. Why would they want to take on one of their own, Neil? Insurance. Probably didn't trust somebody so close to the inside. Come on, their list. Simmons had me in the crosshairs. You'll tell me our guys nailed them, please. Somehow, in the confusion, we missed them. My Patsy. My Patsy, Neil. I'm lucky to be fucking alive. Relax, Jason. We'll get him. You're safe. No one can hurt you in here. You're not going to get me out of here? Not yet. It's best we maintain your cover at all costs. Look, we are closing in on Quinn Simmons as we speak. I'll get you some legal representation in here. Then even the police can't lay a hand on you, OK? Yeah. Jesus, it's me, McGraw. Now, where the hell were you? You missed the meeting. You want me to trust you? How the hell do I know you're not one of them? You sound paranoid. Yeah, you're goddamn right I'm paranoid. Relax. Look, they probably know my position already. I'll call you back.
Come on, Carlos. It's a big chance to get a piece of fed and not get busted for. Yeah. Don't waste it. Gonna waste you, pendejo. <laughs> Here it comes. Ah. Woo! It needs off me, man. Ah. I'm filling up my timing. It's in that goddamn rubber. Okay, biatch. Let's go. Come on. It's on. It's lock arms, baby. The lighter now. Come on. Come on, bitch. I'm gonna pimp slap your ass. Oh, Carlos. What well, you getting it now, baby? Come on, here it comes. Slow. Woo! Down goes Razor. Down goes Razor. Woo! All right. That's great, Jason. I'm trying to groom you for the top, and you're trying to get yourself killed. I dropped my left. You drop your brain coming here. The place is full of thugs. What's wrong with the Bureau's training facility? The place is full of feds. And you're still one of them, don't forget. Come on, get your things. We're going down to HQ. Must have been a problem. One with mercy. He was dead before he hit the floor. Who is he? Special Agent Terrence McGraw, counterintelligence unit out of Chicago and special assignment for me. You ever hear of the group? No. They're a right-wing extremist cell. They're not your usual anti-government fringe types. They've got deep pockets and influence. McGraw was getting close to revealing their leadership when he was taken out. The only member we've been able to get a visual on is this guy. Goes by the name of Radeski. McGraw had him pegged as the group's spotter in charge of recruitment. And they can afford the best, mostly freelancers. Combination of ex-CIA and DOD operatives and hitmen. So what do they want? Same as any terrorist group, power. To what end, we don't know. What we do know is, before McGraw was killed, he'd uncovered a plot to assassinate Senator Joseph Caton. That's the guy running for president. 
The one who will be president if you believe the polls. Why Caton? McGraw couldn't provide any more details. So what's your next move? Nothing. I'm calling off the investigation. Come again? That's right. As of today, the FBI is no longer investigating the group. OK, I don't get it. Neil. You had a major conspiracy beef here, not to mention a dead agent. And what, you want to back off? Officially, yes. Unofficially. There's a reason why McGraw's cover was blown. He was betrayed by someone in the Bureau. What, like, like a mole? I could be wrong. I hope I am. But if I'm not, there's no one I can trust anymore, except you. I trust you because I knew your father. We came up in the Bureau together. He was my friend. I trust you because after he left us, well, you've been like a son to me, Jason. So any idea who sold us out? Sorry I'm late, Neil. I miscalculated the time frame. When they miss? I was just briefing Special Agent Wells here on the group. Oh. Special Agent. Jason Wells, Hale Bryant, Special Agent in charge of the Chicago section. Bryant's just been transferred to anti-terrorist. And Neil tells me a lot of good things about you. He assures me you can be trusted. Well, I haven't given him reason not to. Well, I guess there's no reason to believe these things run in the family now, is there? If you're talking about the corruption charges filed against my father, they were never proven, sir. <clears throat> if no one objects right now, I'd like to tell Agent Wells what his assignment is. Good. We're sending you undercover, Wells. Deep undercover. Your mission will be classified. No one beyond this room will know about it, including the director. What is it? You're going to be infiltrating the group. But first, we're going to kill you. Not literally. We're staging it. After a couple of months, you'll resurface under an assumed identity, one that can't be traced back to the Bureau. Your new name will be Jason Black. From Cleveland. Occupation, hitman. We think we can arrange a meeting with this Rodesky character. If you meet their criteria, then we'll have someone on the inside. The rest will be up to you. Think you can handle it? Did Hoover wear ladies' lingerie? A simple yes or no will do. Yeah. Can handle it. Well, if that's all there is, I'll see you at the funeral. Why do you let him get to you? Maybe try it sometime, Neil. I can't take a leap without one of those jerks reminding me my old man was dirty. So what are you gonna do? Kill yourself like him? The world is full of jerks, Jason. Get used to it. Do you know what Hoover used to say to me? The Bureau must always come first and last. Everything else, friends, family, yourself, comes somewhere in between. Your father believed that too. Maybe more than anyone. The question is, do you? Can anyone tell me who Thomas Jefferson was? Ashley. Thomas Jefferson was a great man. He wrote the Declaration of Independence. That's right. What else? Michael. My uncle says he was a slave owner. Yes, he was a slave owner, Michael. That's true. But should that change our view of him? Does that make him a bad man? Okay, I want you to think about this, and we're going to continue it tomorrow. And keep in mind, not everything is black or white. Okay, class is dismissed. Oh, hey, don't forget, book reports to do tomorrow.
What I should have done the first night I met you, I'm going home. Alone. Chill away. I'm tired of waiting, Quinn. I'm tired of waiting for you to pop up after one of your disappearing acts. I'm tired of deluding myself that what we have is a real relationship. I had to leave town. Yeah, I know. Why? Business. What business? You can't tell me, can you? It's just like everything else in your life. One big secret. Where you live, your family, your friends. You know, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with a little mystery. But I don't even have your phone number. Because for some reason, you don't trust me. So here's your lesson for today. You get what you give. I'd like to say it's been nice knowing you, but... You understand? Silence or get me Rodeski. I just heard about McGraw. Nice work, Silencer. As always. I want my last one. What? Is that all you care about? No exchange of pleasantries. No how's the wife and kids. Not yours or McGraw's. That isn't compassion I hear in your voice, is it? I'd hate to think I'm in business with a man dumb enough to make that choice. Look, I owe you one more. I want to know when. You haven't answered my question. Am I dealing with a professional or not? Ready to give it to you. Don't forget who's running the show, soldier. Maybe we want to wait for backup. Forget backup. I'm bagging me a Colombian. You sure he's in here? What, you can't smell it? What? Chili powder. Place reeks. Vaya con Dios, amigo. Watch my back. I'm coming with you. No! I said watch my back. Suspected in six counts of first degree murder, assault with a deadly weapon. Black is a well known enforcer for various Cleveland crime syndicates and should be considered armed and extremely dangerous. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Congratulations. Desky. You're a celebrity. You like that, do you? 
He looks good on paper. Hey, what do you want from your desk, huh? Want me to whack the Pope? Would that reassure you? I told you, we have very stringent criteria. Uh. Well, you talked to Cleveland. You talked to Cleveland, right? We talked to Cleveland. You tell you still give nightmares? Bunch of Sicilian pussies. They don't know whether to pray to the Virgin Mary or shit little green olives. All I'm saying is before we make an investment, we need to be sure our investment is sound. Well, how does this sound? How's about I invest my fist up your stringent hole, you creep? You can put me on hold for two weeks while you check me out. You won't even meet with me. You take your cloak and dagger bullshit. You know, maybe I don't want to work for you. What do you think of that, Rodesky, huh? Rodesky? Rodesky! Yeah. Go to Blake's at Carroll Street. Your contact will meet you there. Where'd you get it half off the local grease pole outlet? You want to take this attitude outside? Huh? Relax. Rodesky sent me. Rodesky? Yeah. Ten minutes, Crest Hotel. Dark room and you stroll in here like some goomba torpedo. What the hell was I supposed to do, huh? Be smart. I don't like the way something's going down. Walk away. Don't trust somebody just because he drops a name. Don't trust anybody. Next time that guy might not be as nice as me. Yeah, you're a regular Miss Manners. Who are you? been assigned to determine whether you're operationally competent. So far, I'd say you're not doing so hot. You start training tomorrow. Training? I'll call you with a time and a place. Okay, now wait a second, man. You own one of these? Look, Rodetsky said nothing Get about it. Strap it to your ankle. You may need it someday. Hey, wait! How much do you think he knows about their operation? Well, it's hard to say at this point. I don't know. Oh. It's the key he gave me. Maybe you can get a print from it. All right. Work this guy, Jason. Get everything you can out of him. Look at your hopes up, Neil. This guy's a real tight ass. He wouldn't give me his name. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Okay, shoot. Got it. What? Wants me to meet him in his place. <laughs> hey. Oh. I'll be in touch.
you know how to use it. S stick to guns, pretty much. <laughs> stick to guns, pretty much. Yeah. Suppose your target zone sealed off by metal detectors. Fiberglass. Hide it under your jacket sleeve like this. When you're ready to make your move, you hold it like that. Rear assault. Oh. Walk it behind, total commitment. Penetration point is a super sternal notch. You thrust downward until you puncture the heart. Oh. Target doesn't feel a thing. You let go, walk away. Frontal assault. If you don't walk directly at him, you walk to the side. You're gonna pass him. This time, your penetration point, substernal notch. You thrust upward till you puncture the heart. Target doesn't feel a thing, you let go, you walk away. The human body has over 600 vital points. The right tool, proper technique, every single one will induce instant death. Learn them. The hardest thing in the world is to kill a man up close. But if you do your job right, and you walk away in one piece, and your target never feels a thing. Why do you care so much if the target feels anything? As long as he goes down. Just a little rule I have. Well, if I do my job right, the guy's worm food, and I'm sipping pina coladas in the Caribbean two days later. Forget the target. I'm a mechanic. I'm Mother Teresa. Hey! I said no onions. Give me that. Shit. You ever get shot, tough guy? No. I don't plan on it either. Yeah, nobody does. You see this? Nine millimeter. First thing you notice is the smell of burning flesh. About five seconds later, the pain kicks in, like a hot poker. The only thing worse, getting stabbed in the abdomen. Stumbling around, bleeding all over yourself, trying to hold your guts in. And all you can think about is how much you wish the asswipe who tried to kill you knew what the hell he was doing. And that, my friend, is the difference between being a professional and some greaseball punk with pina coladas on the brain. And what's that supposed to mean? It means what it means. Are you calling me a punk? How would you know? You ever see me work? I don't have to. Well, you don't know shit. I'm a pro. Just as much as you are. Call Cleveland. What's all this stuff? It's Dealey Plaza. Textbook example of triangulation of fire. Something you should know, sit down. Okay. Kill zone, target. Shooters A, B, C. A and B, each fire kill shots using frangible rounds. 60 degree angle from up and behind. What about C? C fires a mean shot. What shot? It's a bullet fired into the target's body, but not to kill him. Because the round's purposely underpowered, it won't fragment like the kill shots. No, but isn't that kind of stupid? I mean, you're leaving evidence for ballistics to trace. That's the whole point. When they examined Kennedy at Parkland, they found the meat shot on the stretcher. Later, a ballistics test proved that it came from Oswald's Manlick Carcano. Only Oswald never fired it. It's an old trick. You fire a round from a Carcano into a barrel of water. You retrieve the bullet and you place it inside of a sabot which allows you to fire that same bullet from any rifle you want. The rifle they later tied to the army. Exactly. That's how you make a bad scene. I'm gonna hand it to you, man. <laughs> you really know your shit. Where'd you learn that anyway? Company? You said I was in the company. Well, come on, Kennedy? It's a company job, right? Sounds like you got some inside info. So what's your point? 
There's no point. Man, I wish I could join. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a secret agent man. Hm. Nah, well, they only hire college boys, and since I got a record, if you can't join the CIA, you might as well join the mob, right? Let me ask you something. Do you ever wonder about the big picture? You know what I mean. Who's calling the shots? I mean, we know who the killers are, right? Huh? <laughs> but who are the contractors? I get a call telling me who the target is when they want a status changed. That's all I know, that's all I need to know. It's better to be silent than dead. They keep this guy in the dark, same as me. And for all we know, Elvis could be running the bloody show. Well, right now, we have no alternative. What if they get to the senator before I can learn anything useful, Neil? Bryant's in charge of security. Caton <laughs> has round-the-clock protection. Bryant. <laughs> Here it comes. Good news, gentlemen. We got a print from the key fob. Our database couldn't provide a match, but fortunately I've got a friend in Langley who owes me a favor. He ran it, and sure enough, our man has a 201 file. A 201 file? It means he was once operational. His name is Quinn Simmons. He got his start in the Army Ranger sniper program back in the late 70s. He spent five years in special ops and got the call up from CIA. They recruited him for the clandestine services section. This guy is a walking poster boy for the wet job set. Plenty of kills to his credit from Afghanistan to El Salvador with stopovers in the Congo and Indonesia. So what's he doing with the group? My guess is he went where the work was. My contact says a lot of these guys were deactivated after the end of the Cold War. Basically, he was disavowed. CIA couldn't admit they even existed, so they sealed their files and cut them loose. No job, no marketable skills, apart from the fine art of assassination. I mean, what are they gonna do? Get a job as greeter at the local supermarket? So how's it going on your end? Still pissing in the wind? Jason. It's gonna pay off, Jason. Yeah. And I'll make sure I wear a raincoat. Seconds acquired before I'm out. Target acquired. Ready. Congratulations, you just killed Barney the florist. We acquire your target, you got 15 seconds. I'm calling the police on my cell phone. I said I'm a pistol man. I don't know what the hell you are, but you're no damn mechanic. Maybe where you come from, they hold a grudge against bystanders, but I have rules. I may not have many, but the ones I do, targets don't suffer and innocents don't die. Okay, so I screwed up. It won't happen again, Quinn. I'm sorry, okay?
think I screwed up. What? Called him by his name. Did he call you on it? No. I mean, I don't think so. I well, mean, I don't... saw you saw something in his house. It happens. He doesn't know a thing. He's a professional. He's the best of the best. And the other guy knows everything. It's just a matter of time. Face it, Neil, you picked the wrong man for the assignment. I picked you because you're the only man for the assignment. The only one I can trust, which makes you the right man. Okay? Hello, silencer. He's a cop. Who's a cop? Jason Black. I want out. Hold on. I'm not going down because you didn't do your homework. You said he checked out. Well, I lied. So you knew. He isn't a cop. He's with the FBI's counter-terrorist unit. His assignment is to infiltrate our organization. Now that he's done that successfully, he's going to try to gain information regarding our current operation. The information we're going to provide him with your help. What are you up to, Rodeski? That's not your concern at the moment. You just do what you're told. Now listen up. More rain tomorrow. <laughs> with the chance of thunderstorms at a high of only 49. With the winds out of the northwest at 7 miles per hour, it's currently... Not bad. I'm a quick study. Relax. Talk to Rodeski. Based on my recommendation, I want to make you operation. What? You're in, kid. But you saw my long range. I mean, so we need some practice. We'll work on it. Here. Sign it. Ten percent now, the rest upon completion. <laughs> Point of no return, pal. Point of no return. I think I'm buying. So where are we going? Downtown. Never been downtown. Suppose I get lost. Just act like you're going uptown all the opposite direction. Mm. Choices, not evil people. What if a man always chooses evil? Wouldn't he be evil? Bad choices doesn't necessarily mean being evil. Bad choices just aren't the right choices. What's this? Graduation day. Protocols for the assignment. Thought I'd let you have the honor.
And the winner is... Senator Joseph Caton. Caton's broadcasting a speech from the Excelsior Hotel in two weeks. Uh -huh. Some environmental symposium. Sucking up to the tree huggers, no doubt. Well, after the symposium, there's going to be a photo op on the atrium. That's what they want us to make the hit. That's when they're going to do a meal. If I back on on this one, they're going to know something's up. Then I guess you'll just have to go through with it. I'm serious, Neil. I don't want to be next on their hit list. I mean, these people are professionals. That's why you have to play it straight. Do everything they want exactly how it's scripted. But before the senator can make it to the atrium, we'll just have to get him out of there. He'll get ill. Say food poisoning. <laughs> yeah, we'll get him out of there in an ambulance, huh? They can't blame anyone if the target doesn't cooperate. I'll have Brian arrange it with Caden and his staff. Brian, Neil! Don't worry, Jason. I'll have men all over the place. We'll nail these guys. Where are you gonna be? The director's ordered me to go to D.C. for a conference. conference. But I'll be in constant communication by phone. Right? I hope so. Good, not too much exposure. Let's see. Here we go. Sweep below the balcony. to dodge that bullet. Family? What do you care? Hmm? It was just me and my old man. Was. He killed himself. You think you know people, but you don't. You spend your whole life with them, and then just one day out of the blue. Why do you do it? I don't know. A lot of people said that he made some bad business deals. He said that what I'm about to do is not going to make sense to any of you. But I cannot live with the shame and dishonor that I brought upon myself and my family. Shame and dishonor. What is that? I mean, we were tight. Really tight. How could he not know that no matter how low he was going to sink, that his family, me, was going to be right there with him? How could he not know that? Forget it. Who cares? Forget it. Where did it happen? In a motel room. How?
Do you know what time it is? What are you doing here? I was in the neighborhood. Jesus. <sighs> so? So, you ready for your big debut? Is that why you woke me up at 3 in the morning? Huh? I'm ready. Now, if you'll excuse me, we got a big day tomorrow. Still not too late, Cleveland. Yeah, it is. It's very late. Take the money and walk away. What? I said walk away. Tonight. Are you nuts? This is my big shot, man. And you want me to walk away? Hey, I can do my part. Trust me. KPOB News, could we have a quick word before you give your final statement? I, not now, Sam. After the broadcast. Yeah. Okay, boys and girls, let's let the man breathe, please. Thank you. No, no, but we need to... It is time for the people of this country to take back the power from the corporate polluters and their corrupt friends in government. We have been betrayed, ladies and gentlemen. Betrayed by the people entrusted by us to guard and protect our laws. Betrayed by men who maintain their power by maintaining secrets. Who will stop at nothing, including murder, to keep these secrets from the people. Betrayed by men who are responsible for acts and crimes far more heinous than the destruction of our old growth forests. Now, I'm not at liberty be more specific about the names and positions of those I'm referring to. However, I will say this. If I'm elected, my first official act as president will be to initiate a full-scale congressional investigation into these abuses of power in order to expose a conspiracy so vast that it threatens to destroy the very fabric of our democracy. By working together, we can once again restore the sacred trust between the government and the government. Thank you. phone with Bryant. The senator finished his speech about two minutes ago. When you see the ambulance arrive, call your contact. Let him tell you when you can bail. Okay.
Donovan. He's on the atrium. What are you talking about? I can see him. He's with Bryant. Over here. Jesus. I thought, I thought Brian was supposed to keep him off there. Yeah, he was. Then what the hell's going on, Neil? That son of a bitch, he set us up. Find some more. Find some more. <laughs> Donovan, shots have been fired. Kayton's down. Shots have been fired. Where from? Who did it? Jason, Kayton's down. Shots have been fired from the floor above me. Son of a bitch. Jason. Jason, someone set us up. Get the hell out of there. Nothing about no senator. Four Secret Service agents saw you in the window with the murder weapon. How'd he explain that? They were hallucinating. I don't know. Someone slipped acid in their lattes. How would I know? Found this in your car at a hotel. 6.30 a.m. Caton jogs two miles. Total elapsed time, 12 minutes, 43 seconds. 8.30 a.m. Caton leaves home, drives to a meeting at O'Shea's restaurant. 10.30 a.m., Caton leaves restaurant, arrives at work at 10.45 a.m. This is your handwriting. You have entries covering Caton's movements for the last three months. Now, unless I'm hallucinating, you are a stalker. I don't know what you're talking I didn't do that. You like photography, Jason? Huh? Looks to me like you're a real shutterbug, huh? What do we got here? Caton coming out of his house, going to work, leaving work. What's that? Nothing. Mike, FBI. You really think this peep job's a terrorist? I don't know. What did he say to you? He denies everything. Anything else? Besides telling me to perform an unnatural act on myself? No. Did my, did my guess? Jesus Christ, Jason. The bastards really worked you over. Bryant. Played us all the way. Well, he got his. Why would they want to take out one of their own, Neil? Insurance. Probably didn't trust somebody so close to the inside. Come on, their list. Simmons, hand me the crosshairs. You'll tell me our guys nailed them, please. Somehow, in the confusion, we missed them. My Patsy. My Patsy, Neil. I'm lucky to be fucking alive. Relax, Jason. We'll get him. You're safe. No one can hurt you in here. You're not going to get me out of here? Not yet. It's best we maintain your cover at all costs. Look, we are closing in on Quinn Simmons as we speak. I'll get you some legal representation in here. Then even the police can't lay a hand on you. OK? He says he's not talking until he gets a lawyer. So I'm going to take care of that, OK? You guys, just make sure he's still breathing when he arrives. Not a 
I'm busy. Jason Wells is alive. Why? I missed. Missed. It happens. Not to you. Relax. Oh, look at this. I know you have plans for the future. I think that's great. A new life. You're gonna need the money that's in escrow. Money you earned. Money that you forfeit because of one loose hand. Easy come, easy go. Look, everything's prearranged. A talented guy like you could be in and out before anyone knows. Get someone else. So let me make this simple for you. You're in breach of contract. Now either you mend that breach, or you can forget about the future. All right, asshole, up and at him. The lawyer's here. <laughs> Not that it's gonna do any good. Got five minutes. Hey, didn't Donovan clue you in, pal? You're supposed to keep these guys off my back. How you doing? As your lawyer, I'd advise you that as of right now, you've only got one friend in the world, and that's me. Special agent. Sit down. Donovan send you? Did Donovan send you? Rodeski. All I had to do was dress the part. <laughs> Donovan and Rodeski. How else would you have watched right in here? <laughs> I told you to walk away. Well, and I suppose that makes you a good guy, doesn't it? I'm a lot of things, but that's not one of them. get this straight. Not only are you not going to kill me, but you're going to help me escape, too? You catch on fast. Why? Why does it matter? Just do what I tell you.
Radeski, FBI. Put out an APB on Jason Black, escaped prisoner. I'm standing at police headquarters where a task force of local law enforcement and FBI agents are still trying to determine how suspected assassin Jason Black made his daring escape from police custody. All we know at this hour is as follows. At approximately 11.30 this evening, a man saying he was Black's attorney entered police headquarters and spoke. Oh, Quinn, you scared me. Quinn. What are you doing? Just trying to make the right choice. Everything else, friends, family, yourself, comes somewhere in between. Your father believed that too. Maybe more than anyone. The question is, do you? How did you get mixed up in this? I was hired to kill him. Here. You're choking, right? Look, we can leave if you want. Look, I don't care what happens to me, but you know, I, I, if they find him, I just need two or three days to get him out of the country. should have a doctor look at this. I think it's going to get infected. Yeah. Going live in three, two, one. Agent Donovan, is there any evidence of a conspiracy to kill the senator? Absolutely not. All of our evidence, and it's overwhelming, points to one thing and one thing only. Jason Black acted alone when he murdered Senator Joseph Caton. But isn't that assessment a little premature? That's all that I have to say. That was the head of the FBI's anti-terrorist unit, Neil Donovan. With the daring escape of suspected assassin Jason Black, a citywide search is now underway. Considered armed and dangerous, if you see this man, please report to your local police department. This is Sam Williams reporting live from KPOV News. I need your secure line. Donovan. Hey, Neil. Jason? You look good on TV. Where the hell are you? Oh, you know. Just hanging out. Are you all right? Hi, Neil. You sound so concerned. Well, why, why wouldn't I be? Every policeman in the city is ready to shoot you on sight. Yeah, well, your comments to the press isn't helping any now, is it? My comments are meant to maintain your cover. The only cover you want to maintain is the cover on my casket. No. Look, listen to me. Jason, you have to turn yourself in before some trigger-happy local gets to you first. Now, look, we can uh, arrange to meet, just you and me. The FBI will guarantee your safety. <laughs> the Bureau? The Bureau would dump me in this ocean of shit in the first place, Neil. I told you that assignment had risks. Yeah, but you forgot to mention anything about Rodeski now, didn't you? Rodeski? What, what are you talking about? You told me that you and Brian were the only ones who knew about my assignment. You forgot to mention that Rodeski knows about everything. Look, Jason, I don't... You're not making any sense. Who was in a better position to jerk me around than my boss, huh? My surrogate father. Am I making any sense now? You're paranoid. I trusted you. Our problem, and he just got a lot bigger.
There is no group, is there? They made it up. Just like they made me up, right? Who the hell are they? Donovan and Rodesky. They needed a phony terrorist group for me to infiltrate. Why? And what would they have to gain by killing a United States senator? I don't know. Except that it seems like a pretty extreme thing to do. And all this happened to me because killing McGraw wasn't enough. Why kill McGraw? Hmm? Well, maybe he was one of them. Especially if he was one of them. missing something. Well, if you'd been following Kane's campaign, you'd know he was going to blow the lid off something. That's it. McGraw was Kane's source. What was Kane going to expose and who was going to be incriminated? Who on Kane's staff was he talking to? What difference does it make? There's nothing you can do about it. Tell me. Tell me. An aide. Holly Sharp. Holly? Who are you? I'm with the FBI. I already talked to them. Oh, you're him. You're Jason Black! Hold oh. on a second, hold on a second! I was framed by the same people that killed the senator, okay? That's why I'm here. I'm just as scared as you are. It's just, I, I, I don't know who's who or what's what. Neither do I, okay? I don't know anymore. That's why I'm here. I need to know why McGraw was killed. I need to know what he told you and what you know, okay? Huh? Come on, we'll get in the car. It's okay, trust me. Come on, it's okay. Tell me about this D5. It's an abbreviation for Division 5. I've never heard of it. Well, almost no one has. See, Hoover created the division in total secrecy to avoid any oversight. Only a special group of hand-picked agents were asked to join. To do what? Spy on suspected communists, at first. But pretty soon it was anybody Hoover had a grudge against, and even politicians and presidents. D5 opened up a file on them. You see, the surveillance unit was in charge of gathering blackmail material. And if you didn't bend to Hoover's will, he threatened exposure. And if that didn't work, he took more extreme measures. Like Dallas. You're telling me Hoover off Kennedy? Well, he didn't pull the trigger. But he orchestrated the whole cover-up. Kennedy swore that if he was re-elected to a second term, he would force Hoover to retire and break up the whole division. Well, Dallas put an end to that. Just like Memphis put an end to Martin Luther King. But Hoover died 30 years ago. I mean, why didn't D5 die with him? Because Neil Donovan wouldn't let it. See, he worshipped Hoover. And when Hoover died, Donovan made sure his spirit lived on. He became head of D5's assassination unit. How did you find out about this? Caton got a call from an FBI agent. Now, he wasn't D5, but he knew it existed, and he wanted to put it out of business. But he said the information he had, he couldn't trust with anyone within the Bureau, so he came to us. Why? Well, he figured the only way to stop D5 was a full Senate hearing. Now, Senator Caton didn't believe him at first, until our source showed him a collection of internal D5 documents that he'd gotten from somebody on the inside. A D5 turncoat. McGraw. Now, documents, they changed Caton's mind. But he didn't want to launch an investigation until after the election. Then McGraw was murdered. The next day, they raided our offices looking for the documents. Did they find them? No. Because I'd hidden them somewhere. OK, what about your original source? Can I talk to him? Ah, you're too late. They trumped up a phony bribery charge against him and made it look like he committed suicide. Suicide? Yeah. What was his name? It was Robert Wells. Do you know him? I need to see those documents. A memo 
written by Hubert Donovan, issued November 26th, 1963. Dear Neil, what's done is done. Now it is up to us to put a close on this unfortunate chapter in our country's history. Our friends, all of them, decent Americans and true patriots depend on us. We cannot let them down. D5 will direct the investigation. We must make sure that all evidence leads to one overwhelming conclusion. Oswald acted alone. Can you believe this? Kennedy's not even cold in his grave, and this guy's already issuing a cover. Unbelievable. My God, why didn't you go to the media with this? This is incredible. Not a chance. I like living too much. But you're not just talking about who killed Caton. You're talking about Kennedy and King. Oh, so we're going to do what nobody else has been able to do for the past 30 years. You've got proof. No, what we have is a lot of paper. And zero chance of survival if you can try to go public on this. She's right, Jason. You're in over your head. We all are. I can have us in Argentina by the morning. So that's your solution? Running? Surviving. What do you think? Oh, I think... I think I can't find anything. What? Son of a bitch. Who? Donovan! I trusted Donovan! Jason, wait! What would you do if you were in my position? What do I do now? Hmm? Talk to me. Tell me what to do. You look down on me like that. Like a failure. Done everything in my power to serve you. Honor you. What you built. I've ordered men to kill for you. I've killed for you. For you. For you! feeling pretty clever right now. I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't think there's a word for it. To think that I believed in you for over the last year more than my own father. I only did what I thought was right, Jason. Framing and murdering an innocent man is right? No. Honoring a great man and his legacy, that is right. You're gonna pay, Neil. At first, I want something. Clear his name. I see. I guess there's nothing in the documents that proves he was framed, is there? That's why you're gonna fix it. Okay. Meet me at the old homestead factory. Hand over everything, and in return, I'll personally reopen his case. I'll prove he was the innocent victim of an overzealous internal affairs investigation. You must think I'm pretty stupid. Well, do you think I am? Look. All I want is what's mine. In return, you get peace of mind that comes restored. Otherwise, may his ghost haunt you forever. You're going down, Neil. I don't think so. sound like you're an accountant or a doctor or something. For God's sakes, think about what you do. I do. I have. 
It's just not that black or white. Just uproot my life. Would you like Argentina? Hmm? It would be great. Mm. It's not that. What is it? I'm a teacher. I teach fifth graders. And and you're. Oh, it's just. It's not exactly a match made in heaven. Don't you think a man can change? Yes. But I can't. Talk to me. He wants to meet me tomorrow morning. In front of the old homestead factory. You'll be out in the open. Yeah. You know his play. It's a setup. I know. I got my own play. You got a play. Yeah. I got a play. I made copies of all the documents. If he double crosses me, Holly turns him over. He keeps his end of the deal, clears my father's name. I still turn him over. I screw him just like he screwed me and my old man. Everybody wins, except Donovan. Tomorrow morning, international departures. It's a smart play. Wait for the signal. When I touch my earlobe, kill him. Documents in the trunk.
Hold it. Just want you to know, Neil, it copies you and egg on our deal. I hand them over to the press. I gave you my word. That's what worries me. Just one thing that troubles me, Jason. After I clear your father's name, what's to stop you from turning over the copies anyway? Guess you'll have to trust me. <laughs> Easier said than done. Not your day, is it? Why don't you just get it over with? You don't know how tempting it is, Neil. Just be sure you save a bullet. You really want revenge? Well, you've just hit the jackpot. What are you talking about? Me. What was it like, Silencer? Forcing an innocent man to write his own suicide note. Professionalism outweighs his moral trepidation. Shut up! You killed my father? I'm just a killer, Jason. I'm not the contractor. Peas in a pod. I should have destroyed these a long time ago. It would have saved us all a lot of trouble. I wish you could have met him, Jason. Do you know that for over 50 years, J. Edgar was the most powerful man in the country? That six different presidents kissed his ring out of fear. And the people, oh God, how they loved him because they knew him for what he was a great man and a great patriot. And that is how he'll be remembered. He was a corrupt, paranoid fascist that loved wearing women's clothing. That's how he'll be remembered. You insubordinate little shit. <laughs> You're weak, Jason, just like your father. More suited to a desk job in the field. That's why I chose you for this mission, because deep down, you are your father's son. I got away with framing him, and I knew I could do the same to you. You're nothing but a pair of patsies. You're done? Yeah. Good. I 
because I'm almost out of tape. You've been neutralized, asshole. Where do you think he really ended up? I think I have a pretty good idea. Well, this showed up at Jill's house a couple of days ago. There's no return address. What is it? <laughs> 